From cosmetic to weight loss surgery, a growing number of people leave the U.S. to have medical procedures. It's called medical tourism. The CDC calls it a worldwide multi-billion dollar phenomenon with serious risks. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski talked to a Parker woman who says her surgery was so bad, it almost cost her her life. It's bad. Some days I just sit and cry. For Linda Dickerson, this surgery was supposed to be the end of a lifelong struggle with weight loss. I don't want to be skinny, but I wanted to be fit and strong and healthy. Dickerson wanted to have weight loss surgery here in the U.S., but her insurance wouldn't cover it, and she couldn't afford the out-of-pocket costs. And it's like $40,000 here. Left with few options, she used the Internet to find a doctor in Tijuana, Mexico, who offered to do the same surgery for a fraction of the cost. There, it was 5000 Blinded by the hopes of a life-changing surgery, she hops on a plane to San Diego. Guy shows up in this Ford pickup and picks us up and takes us across the border. From there, it gets worse. While on the operating table and already drugged, she sees a terrifying sight. These guys, they were taking, like, instruments out of a red duffel bag. Hours after the surgery, the complications start, and she says the nurses offered no support. Puked blood all night long, all night, and half the next day. And they were like, just keep sipping, sip water. Back in Colorado, and two days from death, she's rushed to Parker Hospital. I was dehydrated and I was malnutrition, and I'd lost right at 40 pounds in a week. Turns out her surgery was botched, and now she's still dealing with the effects, getting all of her nutrition from an IV bag. This is how I eat. Linda's in a really difficult situation. Uh, she has an extreme narrowing in her stomach. Dr. Josh Long is the bariatric surgeon now treating Dickerson. He says as shocking as her story may be, it's not unique. This is a uh, problem of epidemic proportions. He says medical tourism is a growing problem and comes with serious risks. But in many settings, what we have is an unregulated environment. I just believed in what they said. I believed everything was going to be perfect. Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News. And while Dickerson thought she was saving money going to Mexico, she says it's likely going to cost her more to fix the mistakes.